Welcome to this free anaesthetic tutorial on the basics of propofol. We have arranged this tutorial in a structured cup AM format, which we found to be useful in the Viva for addressing any specific questions on drugs in the pharmacology section. Chemical. Propofol is a phenyl derivative. Its specific chemical formula is 2,6-diisopropylphenol. Whilst not mandatory, it is probably a good use of time to be able to draw the basic chemical structure. Uses. It is used for induction and maintenance of general anaesthesia. Can be used for sedation in multiple settings such as ITU, emergency departments and during cardioversion. It is useful in patients with significant post-operative nausea and vomiting and for total intravenous anaesthesia and may be used to manage status epilepticus. Presentation. It is presented as a white emulsion in a glass ampule and may come in different concentrations. The solution contains soybean oil, purified egg phosphatide, and sodium hydroxide. Dosing. For a general anaesthetic, the textbook bolus dose is 1.5 to 2.5 milligrams per kilogram. It is generally less ideal to give a dose such as 200 milligrams in the exam. A maintenance dose of 4 to 12 milligrams per kilogram per hour is acceptable. An intubation, a plasma concentration of between 0.5 to 1.5 micrograms is acceptable. Mechanism of action. Propofol is a hypnotic that acts at GABA-A channels to potentiate inhibitory central nervous system action potentials. Pharmacodynamic effect. Propofol causes a 15 to 25% drop in blood pressure and systemic vascular resistance. It reduces cardiac output, principally by peripheral vasodilatation. It causes apnea and a reduction in laryngeal reflexes. And this was important in the pioneering of supraglottic airways in the 80s. It causes bronchodilatation and blunts respiratory responses to hypoxia and hypercarbia. Propofol reduces intracranial pressure, it reduces cerebral perfusion pressure and cerebral metabolic use of oxygen. It may cause abnormal movements and in the past these have been suspected and confused with epileptic activity. It is a potent anti-emetic agent. In prolonged infusions a number of consequences are seen including increased serum triglycerides Propofol has a number of adverse effects causing pain on injection, can cause abnormal movement and may cause discoloured secretions or propofol infusion syndrome with prolonged use. Pharmacokinetic. It is poor oral bioavailability and therefore preferably given intravenously. It is highly protein bound and has a large volume of distribution and a short half-life. It is hepatically metabolized to an active me metabolite. It is excreted in the urine. Other points to note. Children need a higher induction dose of around 4 mg per kilogram and propofol is considered safe to use in pregnancy, the thiopental still appears to be the preferred option in obstetric general anaesthesia.